What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Seton Hill Studios. Today, we're going to be checking out Alexander Misko, Careless Whisper on One Guitar. So this guy came across my feed um, a little bit ago. I think it was like a video of him walking down the street playing guitar in like an alley, and he was just playing some crazy stuff. So I did a little bit of research into him, found this song that seemed like it was super popular. Uh, everybody knows the song, but apparently his arrangement of it is absolutely killer. Um, so yeah, so we're going to check it out today and take you along for the ride. Let's get into it. <laughs> All right, y'all, here we go. Alexander Misko, Careless Whisper on one guitar. I'm excited to see what this dude's all about, so let's go ahead and get into it. No. Okay. <laughs> all right, I'm just going to pause it before we get into it. I, what? So he's using his tuning pegs to alter the pitch obviously but he's, he's playing the melody line by altering the pitch with his tuning pegs instead of bending or actually plucking notes i don't know if i've ever seen anybody do that before um but yeah this dude just came right out of the gate swinging let me start that over oh wow just oh gosh <laughs> His guitar sounds so good. He looks young too. So he's doing all kinds of like percussive elements on top of the melodic elements that he's doing. I really notice it like right there, like you can really hear that reverb that uh, is picking up when he's doing those uh, snare type sounds. Um, I guess it meant really just to simulate like what a snare would be in an actual song. Um, but that reverb just pops and blooms afterward. It's awesome. He clearly is into the progressive style of playing. You can see it in his guitar. Um, all those, you know, marks and scratches and where the finish has been worn off and all of that on there man what a beast just doing it all man So like right there, it looked like he, I, I didn't hear it. I'm going to go back and listen to it in just a second. But I think he like preemptively moved his tuning pegs back, it looked like, um, to get them back to where they needed to be for the next section. Because he's constantly interweaving tuning peg changes. So his ear has got to be incredible. Um, and the muscle memory, you know, feeling the tension on the strings to be able to go back and do that um, without even... Uh, having a pitch reference it didn't sound like and I could be wrong uh, I'm gonna go back and listen to it but it looked like he went and did that preemptively which is crazy to have your guitar constantly changing tuning like that and be able to remember every little thing you're doing this guy has put some work into this arrangement and it shows it's killer let's go back and see that see if I can find it again Let's see. Yeah, he preemptively looked like he did that. Man, 
This technique is flawless. So this is like a really small thing, but if you're a guitar player, you know how it can be. When you have a capo on and you try to do a bend, it takes a lot to get it to come back to where it was because when you have a capo on, it's got the tension on at a place that's not the nut. And when you do a bend, especially just a couple of frets away, it looked like from where the capo was that he did right there. And then it comes back and the string doesn't stay lodged up and mess with the intonation. And it comes back in perfect pitch. Um, that's awesome. That's uh, that's smart use of hand pressure and tension and all of that. Now, I guess, obviously, if this dude, um, uh, he clearly has mastery over playing and using his tuning pegs at the same time. If something came out and the intonation was bad, he'd probably just readjust it, um, which would actually be even crazier and kind of cool. So yeah, let me see that again. I want to, I want to hear that because that string pops right back down in, it doesn't get lodged, which is awesome. Yep. It's right back in there. He's just in constant motion, too. He's doing so many things at once. So clean. a good little percussive lick there. So his guitar, um, you, you see this a lot with people who play like this style of instrument, like um, just the way they set their guitars up, the way that their action is, uh, the string gauge that they use. It doesn't always sound good when you do chords. Um, but this dude, like his guitar sounded great right there, strumming those chords in, um, on top of just how clean and crisp, um, and tight his guitar sounds with the finger picking stuff. And a lot of that comes down to technique. Um, like his low strings on this guitar are super percussive, but also super tight. They're not like flabby and kind of going all over the place. Um, and that, you know, attribute a ton of that to this dude's technique. He's clearly put the work in and it really shows. Wow. Right back into all of that, man. I really love that reverb. This dude is pocketed, man. I can't help but bob and weave with it. Mm, the reverb. I love that. I love that where he's scraping the um, guitar with his fingernails to kind of create like that shaker or just real percussive sound. Um, that's probably where the damage on his guitar came from that I was talking about earlier, um, where it's just worn out from just different techniques like that. Like this dude's got, he's got a lot going on. Like he really knows how to make every part of that guitar speak. It's really cool. I also really love the camera angles in this. I don't know if it was shot over multiple takes or shot with multiple cameras, but whoever did the camera work on this, great job, man. You're really, really telling the story with not a lot going on. I mean, it's just one dude and his guitar and none of the, none of the camera work and everything's really had me bored. It's been really engaging. So kudos to whoever did that as well. Wow. 
What a player. That was, man, that was a treat, man. That was, uh, yeah, it, uh, <laughs> it's not like, oh, well, oh, I never hear anything that blows my mind or anything anymore. But like when you really, really hear something like this, that like really like takes you back and like pushes the boundaries, um, it's really just like, it's really kind of mind blowing. Like you just got to sit back and soak it in and just enjoy it. There's so many good guitar players out here now, man. It's just crazy. Ooh, what a player, just an absolute beast of a musician and a composer, just a treat really to watch it. Um, I've never really seen anybody play like he played, like, especially with all the involvement of the tuning pegs and everything. Um, so I just love it when people are just pushing the boundaries of the instrument, you know, exploring what's really possible, um, and just keeping the guitar relevant in this day and age, just, just a beast, man. What a pleasure. All right. Make sure you, that you like the video and you subscribe to the channel. And then you can also hit that notification bell to be made aware of every time we drop new content. As always, thanks to all our Patreon members and folks who have donated on Buy Me A Coffee, where you can get uh, priority requests um, and help support us. Different tiers of membership, different perks. You can check out all that information below. Also, we now have YouTube memberships available with different perks and things. So make sure you check that out as well. And as always, see you on the next one.